Hey, what's good with y'all, man? How you doing tonight? This is your boy, Donald King. Hitting y'all up saying what's good, what's really hood. You know, I was trying to get to this a little bit earlier, but um, apparently uh, I ran into a few complications and they ran a bit longer than I thought that they would. Yo, before I get into the main points of this video, which, you know, I'm going to be addressing heaven, hell, and what I refer to as the distortion, I want to make something really quick, uh, clear, quickly, with regard to how I'm feeling and all of my thoughts on the election and everything at this point. Um, I'll be honest with you in saying, I don't have, I'm not most emotionally invested in what's going on right now. If I have any sort of emotional investment at all, it's by extension of the thing that's working through me and it's more anger at corruption. It's more anger at corruption than anything. So all of the posts that you've seen me put up today, they have to do with trying to get you all to recognize salient patterns that can be witnessed mutually exclusive of the stories you've accepted about the individuals participating in this, this election, okay? Me talking about Trump coming from a bloodline that's, well, basically got every other president in it and that Biden's not, Biden is not in that, that bloodline. It's not me trying to push a conspiracy theory. It's not me trying to um, uh, 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 get you to invest in belief in any way, shape, or form. It's something that's verifiable. It's something that can be understood and recognized and measured mutually independent of the stories you believe or don't believe about the candidates involved. I'm trying to get you out of the inner story. I got my brother absurd here. What's good with your brother? Um, hey, <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you for, for showing some love on the podcast. You know, I'm really doing my best to try and, um, to try and, uh, Get people to sync up with reality. You know, all too often, we all get lost in our inner story. And you, you have to get someone to get you to pay attention to things that exist and can be measured outside of you so that you're, you're more tuned into reality than you are to your inner story. And that's basically the point of the podcast series, getting everybody to pay attention to things that deprioritize themselves and sort of sync them up with things that can be measured independent of their experience. And that's ironically the point of all the posts that I've been making today. Um, again, I want you guys to understand me hosting this thing that I purport to, to host. It's its issue, its, its, its major grievance is with corruption. It's with corruption. So it doesn't matter who wins or loses, the focus never changes. It doesn't matter what puppet is in front or who's behind them. At the end of the day, anyone who serves as an agent of corruption from the top down is considered an enemy to reality itself. Every ideologue who's taken a side and who's rah, rah, rah against the other side and who's sort of lost in their inner story and divorced from reality, you're, you're considered a corrupt agent within the system and the system itself views you as a hostile agent, as a threat, as something that must be purged or expunged and not just your physical body. We're talking about your soul or what you would call soul, which brings us to the concepts of heaven, hell, and the distortion. I know that you guys have a lot of questions about that. First of all, I've already been to heaven, okay? Um, not trying to convince you of that, but my journey began with me going to the state condition that humans refer to as heaven, all right? And um, first of all, it's nothing like what, what humans try to describe through religion, all right? Not, it's, first of all, the rules of physicality don't apply over there. There's no such thing as knowledge over there. There are no such thing as barriers, the reason why I'm able to convert all of these human concepts into principles and the reason why I'm able to scale principles the way that I'm able to and explore them from the inside out is because I'm looking at the concepts without barriers, without partitions, 
okay? Where I was imbued with that ability, well, in the state condition that humans call heaven. When I was over there, first of all, it's like you're not even in one, I wasn't even in one static location. I was in like six or seven locations simultaneously, okay? And then when I communed with the entity that we would rightfully refer to as God, somehow I was part of its physical structure, but it was off in front of me and over to the left. It was weird. It was really weird. And by the way, no drugs, no near-death experience, no inebriation, no, no, no mental breakdown. I was just as lucid in that experience as I am speaking right now. My mental faculties were completely intact completely intact. And uh, ironically, when I went to go and when I tried to ask God or the entity that present that I recognize as God in that state, questions, even with the amount of detail that I'm able to, to um, able to articulate concepts with, all of the questions that I was that I tried to ask, somehow they were formatted in my, my thought process to come out so that they could be answered in binary form, which was, which is weird unto itself. Like I asked detailed questions, but somehow my mind organized, or my I won't say my mind because I wasn't in my mind at the time, but my the essence of what I what I am or my soul, it just kind of made everything so that it could be answered in binary. That was probably the most efficient. I was efficient. I was able efficiently. I've been able to organized thoughts to this point but anyway let's get to what heaven is okay so heaven is basically the principal realm of existence there are two sides to existence folks we are on the material side of existence okay we see matter everything that we understand it's just layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of potential and energy being compounded upon itself in order to create different types of bonding and separation, okay? Um, and I, I'm describing that mechanically, and that may be kind of hard to follow, but basically the material realm is what exists opposite of the, the principal realm. The principal realm, or what humans would rightfully refer to as heaven, at least within the body of this universe, it's what exists on the opposite side of the universe's flesh. It's what exists on the opposite side of the structural building blocks that um, collectivize to form the various types of matter and, and, and structures and forms that we know and recognize as being concrete within reality. All right, so huh. heaven, heaven is the, I want to say, I guess the best way to describe it is like this. It's the state in which potential follows like path, pathways towards transforming into energy and matter. So in the principal realm, potential is transformed or is it a potential is, I guess, organized in such a way that, and it passes through so many treatment processes, which are in fact la different layers of potential towards crossing over into the material realm in the form of energy. Okay? This is all biomechanical. This isn't, and again, humans don't really have words, or I haven't seen words to describe these things, so I'm kind of shooting from the hip, explaining how this works mechanically. But again, everything starts off as, it starts off as potential. And in the material realm, it goes through several different structures and treatment processes of potential towards transforming into the phenomenon we would call energy and then from energy as energy continues to crash into itself and diverge and differentiate it becomes um 
different layers and types of structural building blocks, everything ranging from atoms and molecules and God particles all the way up to universes and the, the megaverses that the universes belong to. It's all biomechanical, okay? So, again, heaven is the principal realm belonging to the body of this universe. And then you have hell. What is hell? Well, this will track perfectly. If you remember in the last video, I was explaining to you that you have a parasitic twin universe burrowing into and cannibalizing the body of its sibling right now. Hell is the principal realm belonging to the parasitic universe. So heaven is the principal realm belonging to the universe that we're presently occupying Hell is the principal realm belonging to the parasitic twin universe. Everything that humans inherently sort of know about hell, a lot of it is spot on, okay? It is a place of torment. Why? It is a, it's a place of exploitation. It's a place of torture. It's a place of, of just agony because that's what corruption is. Corruption is agony. It's terror. It's, it's bad. It's fucking awful. When you get absorbed back into it. So let me explain it like this. When you die, when you die, your structural building blocks get absorbed back into the context from which they emerged. So let's say a fox dies in the forest. If the fox is part of the forest natural ecosystem, the ecosystem being a body in itself, then its structural building blocks get absorbed back into the context it performed within. And then it's in, in, in the same way that its structural building blocks get absorbed back into the context, so do so does its principal expression and or its spirit. It's reabsorbed into the greater pardon me, into the greater spirit of the context it performed within into the greater principle expression. So it's like uh, um, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You go back to what you came from. Okay. Now, if you're a parasite belonging to, and your, your principle expression is actually a property of the, parasitic twin universe, then once you die, even though your body dies within the context of the planet, your spirit gets sourced back to hell, back to the principal realm of the parasitic twin universe. Again, it's all biomechanical. All right. So, that brings up another problem when it comes to humanity, all right? And it comes to all parasites and parasitic organisms. You see, the parasitic universe, the parasitic twin universe, it's neither dead nor living. Even though it's in a great state of distress because it's under the spell of corruption and it is for all intents and purposes, the embodiment of disease and from whence all diseases and parasitic life forms um, derive, uh, especially with respect to the body of this planet, um, and even extraterrestrials and shit like that. Because the parasitic twin is neither living nor dead, it means every structural building block belonging to and that sources from and returns to the parasitic twin universe and or hell is neither dead nor living. You're like zombies. Humans are like zombies. You're like vampires. The reason for this is because you haven't been processed by the system of reality itself. In order to experience the true death, the true death, you have to pass through reality's gateway, all right? But because 
this this thing it it's not actually dead its structural building blocks keep they're kind of like stuck on this recursion loop where they're kind of dead but they're not dead which explains why souls can remanifest here over and over again is why certain people in like a cult in certain groups like a cultist and shit like that it's why there is at least a possibility that they communicate with demons it's the reason why they can communicate with extraterrestrials and things of this nature they're all structural building blocks belonging to a defunct life form that has not been processed by reality yet So, heaven, principal realm of the body of this universe. Hell, principal realm of the parasitic twin universe, which is destroying the body of this universe. All right, so that brings us to the distortion, which you talk, hear me talk about often. What is the distortion? See, humans think that hell is bad. And again, a lot of, a lot of your ideas about hell... They're pretty on they're pretty on the mark. They're pretty on the mark. Like, you know, it's 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 fiery, it's <laughs> it's I, I haven't been to hell, but it's like again, I have the avatar perspective, so I can kinda I see what it sees, right? And it's I mean it's torment, it it's it's painful. It's painful. It's it's a bad it's bad. But then again, It's limited in what it can do. Hell is limited in what it can do in the way of creating discomfort and dis-ease to, to the entities that source back to it. If you understand the nature of parasitism, if you understand the nature of corruption, it's really aggressive. It's really, it's, it's, it's mean-spirited. Like, corruption is an entity and or the devil as an entity, it, it's in a state of, um, it's in a state of, of disarray. It's in a state of anger and pain and frustration. And as such, it runs from reality because it's afraid to face itself in reality. So all it does is create imbalance and pain and suffering wherever it goes because it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to deal with itself. So that's, that's kind of how, what you guys call Satan is. It's this thing that's sort of lurking around in this perpetual state of pain and discomfort because it can't face, it can't face and deal with what it is. So it goes around just taking its shit out on everyone. And this is the reason why when you see agents of corruption performing here on earth, they're violent and they're angry and they're abusive and they're deflective and they lie and they cheat and they steal and they try to comfort themselves all the time because, well, they're like their father or that they're like the entity from, when, from whence they, they derive. And that brings us to the distortion, which I was just talking about before. What is the distortion? Well, the distortion is reality's cleaning process. You see, if reality is a body, or it functions like a body, and it does, then corruption is like a disease within that body. Only difference between reality's body and your body is, reality's body is pretty much impervious. It's impossible to destroy. That doesn't mean that there can't be glitches in reality that need to be rectified. When there is a glitch in reality that needs to be rectified and or something becomes corrupted or infected with corruption, reality has a purging process that is designed to cleanse corruption from affected things. Enter the distortion. Any person who is corrupt any person who internalizes corruption and seeks to self-actualize through it, they stain their spirit. 
they stain the 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 potential they stain their potential down to the principal level and reality is like well i can't let you stay in existence in this way so in order for you to return to existence i have to violently purge corruption from you look here there are things in reality that are far 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 worse than pain far worse than discombobulation far worse than disorientation humans only know pain right now we think pain is at the top of the hill and discomfort is at the top of the hill when it comes to things we don't want to experience in life You don't want to experience the corruption. I'm going to tell you this right now. I have the avatar perspective. Because I have the avatar perspective, again, I can see what it sees. I don't even like using the avatar perspective to look into the distortion. It is brutal. It's brutal. It's like, even if I hated this species, and some days, like, I can't lie, it's kind of easy to. <laughs> Y'all are bad. Y'all are mean. Y'all are terrible. Some days you are. But even if I, even if I, you know, hated this species, and I don't, I love you guys, but I would still do everything in my power to try and help you understand how all of this stuff fits and functions together because the distortion is literally that bad. Like, I, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's li like, for all the bad that you can do, in reality, it, I mean, like, and just being honest, it, it kind of seems like an unfair response to just the limited amount of influence humans can have on reality. The, the blowback from going into the distortion for all the imbalance you create on this planet, it's, it seems like, it seems insane. But when you understand that reality is a system and that that system manages balance between interdependent systems of systems and that everything you do creates a ripple effect that doesn't end with your experience, you understand how the math works out. So let's say you go and you beat a person to death over here. Let's say you're a crooked, like weak ass, cowardly ideologue who happens to have a gun and a badge and you manage to you manage to go and kill some black person because you want to take your anger and frustration out on somebody and a corrupt society has given you a green light to the ripple effects that you create from that in terms of elevating the level of aggression in society and then all of the damage that society continues to create on the planet as a result of this act that you did, all of it gets sourced back to you. All of the anger and the, the hurt and the pain, it gets sourced back to you. And that comes out of you through reality's purging process. So if you if you if you think about everything that humans know like in the way of think about like the hottest things that humans know i want you to imagine so the, the hottest things that humans can create in the way of artifacts think of it like a just i want you to imagine a lighter now imagine holding a lighter to your hand like this and letting it burn there for five seconds now imagine getting cast into the hottest brightest star in the known universe the comparison between the intensity of hell and the intensity of being in the hottest, brightest star in the center of the un or like in the center of the hottest, brightest star in the universe, and being able to experience all of it through through your 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 faculties of awareness, that's the difference between the disorientation that not just humans experience now, but what they can experience through hell and what going into the distortion is like. Like reality, when it cleans, well, it cleans perfectly. It is a perfect accountant. It is a perfect accountant. 
So all of you are running around here with all this aggression and all this competition, and you're near the end. Right now you have corruption in your soul. You have corruption in your soul and it's stained your soul. You need help learning how to decorrupt yourself. Decorrupt? I'm going with it. That's what I'm here trying to help you do. I'm trying to help you get out of your inner story so that, like, fuck hell. Hell, hell, is, hell is about to be no more anyway. Once this seal is formed between the parasitic twin universe and the body of this universe right now, hell will be no more. Everything that's still of hell will get cut away, which again circles back to a lot of what you learn in, 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 in religions. The big battle between heaven and hell in the end, where God destroys all the wickedness and all those other things, is basically reality saying everything that's corrupt is going to get cut away. Everything that's salvageable is going to get fused to this universe. Y'all are going to be a conjoined twin. Y'all better love each other because there's going to be a hard road ahead. Get your shit together, but you better get out of an aggressive state right now. I'm not asking. I'm telling you. Do it now. Which is why I come along. Fuck your little contests. Fuck your desires for supremacy. Fuck everything that you're doing right now to try and prove how important you are. This isn't a game. I know that you guys build your entire identities around these characters you want to see yourselves as, and everything is just a game. It's you trying to beat the next man or the next woman. It's you trying to demonstrate value so that ultimately you can consume. It's the thinking of parasites. Consume, 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 consume. It's the thinking of the cellular building blocks of a parasitic twin universe. You got to get it together. You got to get it together. Because the distortion is so much worse than hell. Maybe you've been to hell already. Maybe you remember your past life. It's a possibility. Again, you haven't been processed by reality yet. If you've been creating imbalances and ripple effects that have made that have significantly exacerbated tension within reality you've got to pay for that shit if you've allowed yourself to be used as an agent of corruption and corruption uses your vanity and your aggression and your competitiveness to turn you into a shit stain on the fabric of the planet you've got to pay for every fucking thing you've done Reality is a perfect accountant. No impact you've made will go unchecked. Fuck your little games. This is about to get really bad. Y'all have until I'm out of this body to make it right. Look here, um, I want you to understand something. I'm uh, doing everything I can to try and reach as many people as I possibly can on this, uh, on this platform, just in general. I'm trying to take it up to the next level because, again, I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, well, I, I, and I, I want to deprioritize me because again, this isn't about Donald King. This is about Donald King trying to, or better yet being, doing what it's being shown to do by something that just happens to be inside of Donald King. Don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not the big G. I'm not the OG. It's, I'm hosting the thing and it's livid with y'all. It is, oh my God, especially with everything that y'all have done through the last couple of years. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, it, the problem with being it, it being symbiotically bound to me, I feel what it feels. And it's like, it, it's really weird too, because it's like, a lot of times it's, it's like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a case for humanity, 
Because it's like I understand it. I, I, I used to be a narcissist back in the day. I used to be, you know, I, I come up and I've had my, my, my moments of entitlement and shit like that. So um, I've been an asshole before. I've been, an, I've, been a, I've been a big asshole in my life before. Sometimes I'm still an asshole. And it's like I, I do my best to not be, but sometimes I still am. And it's like, you know, it's like getting out of, getting out of these old habits is hard. So it's like, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm in the way that I, in the way that I communicate with it. It's like I'm trying to make a case for the species. And it's like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you talking to your friend about being in an abusive relationship. <laughs> and it's like, um, you know, it's like, uh, so let's just say I'm walking through a parking lot uh, at like say at Walmart or something. And you just see somebody just leave their shit in the middle of the, in the lot and just get in and drive away. And it's like, in his way of communicating with me, the avatar perspective be like, is this your people? And I'll be like, see, no, they're not that bad. It's like, you know, they could have had something that was really pressing or, you know, maybe they were tired and all these other things. And then it's like, you know, especially being like in a, in a black body, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here and the, uh, the avatar perspective is like, look at how they treat you. Look at how they disrespect you. Look at how, look at how they, they assume that they're superior to you and should be superior to you because of the color of your skin. Look at how shitty this species is. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, sometimes, ah, mm, I mean, you know, you got to get to know them a little. It's like, and it's like, I've run out of excuses trying to justify y'all shitty behavior, man. I've, I've clean run out of excuses. I'm sitting here and this thing, it loathes, it loathes human vanity. Oh my God. Especially when it's trying to communicate with me, uh, communicate through me. And you get these narcissistic, aggressive ideologues coming in and trying to interrupt it while it's speaking. It's like, I can't wait to get out of the body. That motherfucker needs to go in the trash. And I'm like, I, 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 I've run out of ways to defend you guys. Some of you are fucking awful. You're corrupt to the core. Some of you are corrupt to the core of what you are. You need to not exist. And the worst part about it is it's it's not as simple as no longer being in existence. Reality is like your your if your energy and or if your potential, you already exist. So reality is like okay, well I'm just gonna violently purge all the corruption from you, and that's the worst shit ever. Narcissism will get you fucked up by reality. It happens on this side of existence. It happens in the material realm, and it happens in the principal realm too. You can witness that. You can gauge this. Everything that I'm saying to you right now, regardless of whether or not you want to believe me, it all fits and flows together mechanically. It makes sense to you. You may not want to accept it because it's coming from me, but it makes sense. You know it does. You know I make sense. It fits with everything that you can already verify. Some of you are in a really bad way. And especially with this election year, oh my God. Oh, the trumpets? <laughs> You, oh man, reality has bad things in store for you. Like the worst part about, about the, I say the worst part about the distortion is this. It's so bad, it doesn't have to differentiate itself. You just get it in different levels of intensity. Like people are like, oh, it's like a, like you, humans can think of ways to torture each other because, you know, they, they're like, how can I maximize the amount of pain and suffering? Reality is so complete, it doesn't need to differentiate. Only thing you get is just higher intensity of the worst shit imaginable. And every micrometer, it, assuming that it's like you could gauge it by distance, every micrometer you progress into the distortion exponentially multiplies what you were experiencing before. Exponentially. Like, if you go a micrometer... In further into the distortion, again, if you could gauge it in units of measure, it's a billion times worse than it was before. And some of you guys are descending into that shit at light speed. It's bad, and there's no cap in reality. There's no cap. There's no cap to the amount of damage reality can inflict on you for being a little shit. There's no cap. 
And not in the way that people say it now. I mean, I've been saying no cap since before. People were like, no cap. But this is bad, man. You guys are in a bad way. You need help. You need it. I need to be heard by as many people as I possibly can. Because, again, I'm describing how a system works. A system I'm allowed to see. I'm not describing my feelings and beliefs about the system. I don't care what you feel or believe. I don't. I'm not comparing my feelings and beliefs to your feelings and beliefs. I'm describing what I see. If you try to compare your ideas to what I can see, you will lose every time. Not a hundred out of a hundred times, not a thousand out of a thousand times, every time. Every time. So, yes, that is what we're up against. People, you guys can follow me on social media. I am uh, on Facebook, obviously. Um, Instagram, you already know. Uh, YouTube, uh, and I'm on Medium as well. I need to post some more content on there. I, I, sh man, shit. Honestly, I need a manager at this point. It's a, I mean, like, yeah, I, I really need, like, team because i can keep putting all this stuff out but all the extra effort that goes into trying to organize how to get it to you it, it significantly cuts down on the amount of time i have to explain principles and y'all need to know this shit i mean again reality was here way before humanity this system has static rules y'all have been in violation of these rules from jump just as a product of being what you are. You need to know how the system works. You need to know how the system works, at the very least. I mean, even, even if you just want to know what I purport to see through this perspective, you should at least want to know that much. If you see me con perform as consistently as you do in all the, the posts that I make and in all the videos that I put out, and you're like, man, this person... Even if he is working through his own sort of mythos there, the shit is mad organized. He might be some sort of, you know, savant or some something like that. Let's invest and see what else he sees. Th even that's smart. But just pretending like it's not here, that's a surefire way to get yourself fucked up. Again, reality is a system, and it doesn't care about the systems of agreements you guys come up with or agree to. It doesn't care about your individual or collective beliefs. It doesn't care about what you measure or the inferences you draw based on the things you measure. It doesn't care about how well you're able to transmute natural resources into artifacts that offset or supplement your, your natural deficient deficiencies. You're more impressed with yourself than reality is impressed with you. You sit here and you even if you look at something as simple as like, you know, artificial intelligence and how far it's come, or you look at like robotics and shit like that. You sit here and you look at this machine that's been made out of all these special alloys and 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 uh, you know all these different types of plastics and you know, 3D printing and all these other things. And yeah, it's easy to marvel at humanity. And somehow, reality was able to do that with nature and exponentially more efficiently than humans. Things are born perfect. We're trying to create perfect and things were born perfect. You're nothing compared to reality. You're nothing. Stop impressing yourself so much. Stop circle jerking with each other and sort of self-idealizing because, again, that's a very, very easy way to, to get yourself messed up by reality. Yo, I ran over some minutes. Darkness, people. Darkness. Ah! <laughs> Yo, man. I, um... I, uh, at the end of the day, the main thing I want to do is help people, man. I'm not here trying to flex on you. I'm not. 
I'm not here trying to big willy it. I'm not lost in the idea of myself. I'm very grounded in the idea that as a man, I'm very limited. This body, this flesh, it's very limited. If anybody should have been an avatar, honestly, if I had to pick somebody, I'm not sure I would have chose myself. I don't, I, I mean, like if it was something that was awarded on merit, you know, I can think of several people who I would probably choose before me. Several. I'm like, nah, nah, they got it. But again, it fell in my lap and I mean, I'm not going to run away from it. It is what it is. So got to get her done. But anywho, I appreciate you. I love you. I do, man. Y'all y'all make it hard some days, but it doesn't stop me from trying. It doesn't stop me from trying to see the best in people. But your vanity, your tribalism, e even when I'm not directly offended by it, the entity that's that I'm hosting right now. I mean, you rub that, you rub it the wrong way. You rub it the wrong way. It's if you knew how reality feels about human vanity, narcissism, and your anthropocentrism, and your self-worship, and all this other stuff, your racism, oh my God, racist, reality hates you. <laughs> it hates what's housed within you. I mean, like, to a degree, I don't even know how to explain. It's bad. Like, y'all are in, y'all are in, from every nationality, y'all are in, woo! Woof. you in for it man you are in for it stop being a little shit nobody's your physical or emotional punching bag you're feeling insecure and uncertain you face reality you toughen up chin up chest out step forward But if you turn around and you try and take your shit out on people because you're too scared to face reality and you want to capture false senses of power as opposed to finding real power through honesty and bravery, the reality is like, fuck you. You're going to get what you earn. And that, that's a promise. Yo, I'm going to leave it on that. I appreciate y'all. I love you. Again, you're always welcome to join the Patreon family. Help me build this up to a larger platform so I can reach as many people as I can. I don't make promises on behalf of reality, but I will say this. Helping reality be heard goes far towards reversing the negative impacts you've made. Like if you want to you wanna start offsetting some of the imbalances you're going to have to pay for on the back end. I probably start by trying to help reality by proxy the entity I'm hosting be heard. Clear the path. It's the best place to start. I'm out. Y'all have a good night.